How is it hanging, folks? It is Andrew here from ITB, checking out what is new in tvOS 10.2. Some of these are tangentially related to the Apple TV, like the new rentals across devices where you can rent once and watch it on any of your devices, as well as the new TV remote app that was updated for the iPad. So as far as the things to go that do apply to this update is scrolling. If you have a long list of something like TV or movies that you're getting through, you normally uh, swipe down the middle of your Siri remote and it takes forever. But now if you swipe down the right hand edge, these little dots will appear and you can really quickly jump through those categories. It's a whole lot faster and really easily gets you down those lists. This is such a small thing, but it makes such a big difference and it's just another cool gesture that they've built into that Siri remote. I've always hated going through the long list and now you can see how easy it is just to slide your finger along that right edge and just easily jump through those categories. There are a few other changes here in TVOS, but they're not gonna be as flashy as scrolling is. For instance, there is expanded mobile device management for enterprise, as well as Apple's device and enrollment program now supports the Apple TV, which makes it a whole lot easier to deploy in businesses. There's also a new video toolbox framework, as well as it also is getting that Apple file system that we saw over on iOS. Of course, these aren't the only big changes we've seen coming to tvOS. Of course, the last update, it had the really great TV app that we also have on iOS, one of my favorite new ways to go through and find new shows and movies to watch, as well as that single sign-on finally launching, just hopefully, hopefully sometime soon with more TV providers. So what do you guys think of the new faster scrolling in tvOS 10.2? Let us know down in the comments below. Otherwise, subscribe, give us a big thumbs up. And until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.